Welcome to the Film Lover Show. It's episode 19 on the 11th of March 2010. I'm your host, Tyron Rubin. Most of the news today, pretty much all of it, is around Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott is amongst the best and most acclaimed and most successful film directors of all time. Uh, Ridley Scott mostly deals in big, large, epic films, rich in literature and character, and also delves a lot in special effects. His uh, earlier films, Alien, which became a huge cult box office sensation and spurred on many sequels. He followed that up with a film called Blade Runner, which has become known as the greatest sci-fi film of modern day time. It's based on the Philip K. Dick novel, stars Harrison Ford, and is a sci-fi classic. He did Thelma and Louise with Gina Davies and Susan Sarandon, which was great. Also starred Brad Pitt. More recently, he's aligned himself with Russell Crowe. Their first film, Gladiator, won five Oscar awards and was nominated for seven. Then they did A Good Year Together. Then they did American Gangster with Denzel Washington, which was nominated for two Oscars. Then they did Body of Lies together with Leonardo DiCaprio. And for their fifth pairing together, the film that is coming out on the 14th of May is Robin Hood. Robin Hood, we all know the story. It's set in 13th century England, where Robin Hood robs from the rich and uh, gives the money to the poor. He's become one of the most popular characters in literature as this type of anti-hero, and Robin Hood's obviously been played by Russell Crowe. Mark Strong, who was the villain in Sherlock Holmes, is going to play Sir Godfrey. Beautiful Kate Blanchett is going to play Maid Marian. I'm also telling you this news because you'll see stills from the new trailer of the film, which looks great. Robin Hood has been written by one of Hollywood's greatest screenwriters, Brian Helgeland, who's written L.A. Confidential, which stars Russell Crowe, who's also in Robin Hood, Mystic River, Man on Fire, Green Zone, which is the new Paul Greengrass film starring Matt Damon. So Robin Hood looks wonderful. Looking forward to it. As I said, it's on the 14th of May. I'm going to talk a little bit about some of Ridley Scott's other projects, a film called The Kind One. This is based on a Tom Epperson novel. It's set in 1930s L.A., and it centers around a character, Danny Landon, which has been played by Casey Affleck, uh, who's an amnesiac, and he works for a violent mobster called The Kind One, and he ends up falling in love with The Kind One's girlfriend. So it looks really great. Delving into gangsterish territory, which he did do with an American gangster. He's also looking at directing a film, which is at the moment tentatively titled The Untitled Gucci Biopic. It centers around the lives of the Gucci family, who created one of the most elite fashion houses in the world. It's rumored that Leonardo DiCaprio will play Mariazzo Gucci, who was the former head of the Gucci family, and Angelina Jolie might play Patricia Reggiana, who gunned down Mario Gucci. Leonardo DiCaprio, who was in Body of Lies and who might be in the Untitled Gucci Project, directed by Ridley Scott, has been collaborating with Ridley Scott for a while on a film called A Brave New World. It's based on one of my favorite books by Aldous Huxley, and Ridley Scott's looking to direct it. There's not much news I can bring you about Brave New World, but I'm really looking forward to it. Ridley Scott's also producing the new A-Team film, which is out the 11th of June, so that looks also very action-packed. In the last bit of news, it looks like Robert De Niro will be playing famous NFL coach Vince Lombardi in the film called Lombardi, which will be due out next year. It's the stories of the Green Bay Packers coach, Vince Lombardi, who led his team to victory in the NFL championship in 1967. In summary, Ridley Scott's got quite a few films coming out. His film now, which has been released, Robin Hood, on the 14th of May. He's 
tentatively look doing the kind one, which is a Tom Epperson novel, which looks great, untitled Alien Project, maybe a Gucci biopic, Leonardo DiCaprio and himself teaming up for Aldous Huxley's famous book, Brave New World, and Robert De Niro looking like he's going to play Vince Lombardi in the film Lombardi. Signing off, Tyron Rubin. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.